Times front page for Wednesday, April 26th, 2023. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. House Republicans are charging forward with a high-stakes vote on legislation to raise the debt ceiling and cut spending. Harris Alec reports Republican leaders are eyeing a Wednesday vote on the proposal, which would raise the debt ceiling by $1.5 trillion until May 2024 in exchange for slashing spending by more than $4.8 trillion. House Majority Whip Tom Emmer and other Republican leaders worked to persuade moderate and conservative holdouts to back the measure. Several Republican lawmakers were balking at proposals, such as ending ethanol subsidies and eliminating tax credits. The vote is a crucial test of Speaker Kevin McCarthy's ability to keep Republicans in line for a showdown with President Biden over spending and debt limits. The federal government faces a default deadline in early summer for exceeding its borrowing limit of about $31 trillion. Ukraine's widely hyped spring counteroffensive was cast as a turning point that would reclaim territory from Russia. Instead, with the season drawing to a close, the campaign has yet to begin. Both sides are edging toward a stalemate as Russian forces reinforce defensive positions in eastern Ukraine. Administration officials told our Ben Wolfgang this week that the overarching U.S. goal is still to put Ukraine in the strongest possible negotiating position with Russia, but they stressed that any talks would unfold solely on Ukraine's terms and timeline. The spring offensive was seen as a key marker in the broader effort to put Ukraine in the driver's seat of the war. The loftier hope was to force the Russians out of the territory entirely and leave them with little choice but to call off the invasion altogether. Multiple conservative media outlets have offered their platforms to Tucker Carlson after the former Fox News host was ousted from his role earlier this week. Valerie Richardson reports One America News, the Heritage Foundation, and Blaze TV founder Glenn Beck were among those offering their opportunities publicly to Carlson. Fox News is filling his slot temporarily with Fox News Tonight, anchored by a rotation of hosts, beginning with Brian Kilmeade. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. You can also find the entire lineup of Washington Times podcasts at WashingtonTimes.com slash podcasts. A report has found that more than 200 self-acknowledged non-citizens have managed to register to vote in Arizona's Maricopa County, and at least nine of them have cast ballots in federal elections. Stephen Dynan reports the study is the first in a series of reports by the Public Interest Legal Foundation to coincide with the 30th anniversary of the Motor Voter Law, which allows people to register to vote at their local DMV or vehicle bureau. In Maricopa County, home to Phoenix, 222 people have alerted officials since 2015 that they were on the rolls but didn't hold citizenship. Of those, the foundation said nine have cast ballots in federal elections before acknowledging they should have been excluded. And finally, since April 2022, the Biden administration has been largely silent on the issue of consolidation in the meatpacking industry, despite relatively unchanged meat prices. Jeff Mordock reports the average retail value of choice beef was $7.62 per pound in January 2022 and $7.64 per pound last month, according to the USDA. Analysts say the president and his cabinet blamed industry consolidation when they should have focused on labor and cattle shortages caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at WashTimes for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. With the Washington Times, I'm George Gerber.